Pentiment is a murder mystery narrative game set in the 16th century in a small Alpine village in Bavaria. Taking place right around the birth of Protestantism, the proliferation of books thanks to the advent of the printing press and a growing wave of peasant revolts, Pentiment uses a renaissance art style that's heavily evocative of the masterpieces of the era and shows how seismic political events can have drastic effects on the lives of ordinary working people, many of whom already have enough to deal with. The world in Pentiment is reeling from having many of its core beliefs and structures questioned in a way that it's just not comfortable with, much like ours today. You play as Andreas, an artist coming to the end of his wandering period who has been working in one of the few remaining scriptoria in a local monastery while developing his art on the side. His world is torn on its head when a visiting nobleman, one of the monastery's chief patrons, is murdered and his dear friend and mentor, an elderly monk named Piero, is accused of the crime. Adamant to clear his friend's name, Andreas is given only a few short days to investigate by the abbot who fears the crime may lead to the dissolution of the abbey and wants swift resolution before the arrival of the archdeacon. One of the core themes in Pentiment is change and how it's resisted. Virtually every character is in the midst of a massive change in one form or another. The church is reeling from the fallout of Martin Luther's 95 Thesis and the level of questioning it's provoking. The scriptorium is dealing with the forced obsolescence from the rise of the printing press and the village is dealing with the increasingly punitive demands placed upon them by the local abbey. This extends to the characters themselves. For example, Andreas is resisting a change due to his wishes of founding an art studio, but the law is stating that he must marry to do so. So he delays as much as he can, first by taking as long as he can with his art, and then by throwing himself into the search for clues about the murder. Thus begins an investigation into the townsfolk and their lives. Pentiment's main strength is the deep characterisation of the locals. Each one feels like a real person with their own hopes, dreams and fears. There's a strong current of empathy running through the narrative. By focusing on the minutiae of everyday life, Pentiment fleshes out the locals in ways you just don't see in many other investigative games. You delve into their lives not by interrogating them, but by sitting down and eating with them or helping them with tasks. This means you're not only uncovering information and motives, but also forging connections and relationships which will shape how the game plays out in the future. As the game takes place over 25 years, who you accuse and what you discover becomes more rooted as the characters age and change. It also means that thanks to the wonderful writing, you'll end up becoming more and more invested in their lives. The truly awesome art style lends so much to this. Despite its medieval manuscript styling, it's stunningly realistic and helps showcase the depth of research done by the developers. If you were a fan of the historically perfect art of Apotheon, then you're in for a treat. The whole framing of the visuals as an illustrated book like the Book of Kells is an inspired choice. The picture zooms out to read the glossary entries, showing the rest of the page, and it combines well with the pages turning to show the scene changes. Another fantastic artistic choice is the clever use of fonts. Different social strata have their dialogue written out in their own font, with the local peasantry having their words scratched out in sharp handwriting to the noble's gothic script. This gives more depth to the characters and further defines their place in the world and how they are seen by others. I particularly love the printer's text being stamped out like a printing press. To give even more life to the script, there are even spelling mistakes dotted around which, after a second, are hurriedly rubbed out and corrected. It's a brilliant trick that gives you the impression that you're reading a living text, one that's being written right in front of you as the events unfold. Speaking of reading the text, you'll be reading an awful lot of it. If there is one demerit with Pentiment, it's that it's not in a rush to tell you the story. The meticulous detail in every aspect of the history and setting takes a considerable amount of time to convey, and it won't be to everyone's tastes. 
There will be some gripes about having signed up for a murder mystery only to be repeatedly drawn into several philosophical debates about everything from the role of the church to the nature of man, but Pentiment is a wonderfully authentic glimpse into the past, with beautiful music, excellent writing and some eye-watering artwork. Its glacial pace, reams of text and lack of a voice cast may put some off, but this game is a rare thing, intricately detailed and a lot of fun to play. If you're a fan of dense layered narratives, then you found your heaven in Pentiment. <laughs>